Honey, are you up? You told me to wake you up. Sweetie? Um, don't make me come up there and get him. If I comes up, I'll drag him body and bones out of that bed. doing in my room? Mom, tell him to get out of here and turn that freaking camera off. See? It's like this every day. What are we going to do? I can tell you what we're going to do. He's getting out of here come hell or high water. Ladies and gentlemen, this scene you have just witnessed has become all too common across households in North America. Statistics show that over 50% of young adults aged 19 to 30 are still living at home in what is now being dubbed as the failure to launch syndrome. This is Michael Mansfield reporting for This Hour has five minutes. Neighborhoods like these are filled with young men and women living in basements, bedrooms, trapped behind screens. Parents are trying to find ways to get their children to move out of the house, but their attempts are often rebuffed and met with resentment, anger, and apathy. Yeah, that's the face. That's the face I always get. Now, John, don't get getting yourself all worked up. Remember your stint. Yeah. Yeah, while I'm out mowing the lawn or taking out the trash, he's upstairs rotting in the bed. To understand the depth of the problem and the possible solutions, we have consulted world renowned psychologist Dr. Ronnie Bowes. Why do you think that young adults are staying home longer and longer? Well, Sometimes parents say that they want their adult children to move out, but really, they're sending sort of mixed messages, mm -hmm. cultivating a sort of dependence. Mm -hmm. Jay, I've got your bath ready, and I've got warm towels into the dryer for you. There are a segment of young adults who stay at home to help their parents out around the house or with the family business. Not bloody likely. Or they remain at home while they continue post-secondary education. I'm not in school. I actually am a fully certified online travel agent. You don't have to knock on wood while you're traveling with Jay Knockwood. <laughs> I made that a one-up myself. Wait, hold on. I think I'm getting a call. What do you recommend that parents do about this? Well, I suggest that they don't take the tough love approach. Like changing the locks or throwing out all their clothes on the lawn. Mm. Honey, you're getting yourself all worked up. The clothes are going to get dirty. There has to be a better way to deal with this. Yes, Dr. Bose. What is to be done about this? Well. You can meet with a counselor, someone like myself, to figure out proper guidelines for the family. Mm. Mm. And would you be willing to help out this family in particular? I would love to. First it was my pop. I likes a cold drink at the end of the night, and he would steal it right out of the fridge. And then it's my beer. My beer for crying out loud. Enough is enough. It's just one or two. He was always such a sweet boy. I had a dream that he would travel the world. Travel agent? Who uses a travel agent these days? He can barely travel as far as the kitchen. What some house rules? No drinking? No drugs, no stealing. What are you pulling me over for? You just ran 
That stop sign. That stop sign is right on the corner of my house. Doesn't matter. I'm gonna write you up. You're getting a ticket. What for? I didn't kill anyone. What about my garbage bucket? Oh, Jay, no! Not my garbage bucket! You know how much I love that wheelie garbage bucket! It's so good on my bad back and now you've gone and ruined it! Oh. Well, there you have it, folks. A family in crisis and a young man about to be launched. This has been Michael Mansfield from St. John's, Newfoundland, reporting for this hour has five minutes.